guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be talking about some terms for the beginning coin hunter. I have my notebook because I can't remember all the terms because I don't have that good of a memory. <laughs> Alright, and most of these were suggested by people in my Saturday and I stream. We always have fun in there. It's at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, ES, EST, Standard, whatever, whatever you want to call it, 7 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you're in there. It's awesome. It's fun. We enjoy it. Or I enjoy it, and I enjoy the co company while I go through the coins. I'm sure you guys probably like to talk a little bit too. Excuse me. Right, so first up, we have Enders. I know that when I'm talking to my parents or my sister about looking through the coins, I say an Ender, and they're like, "What?" So this is kind of for everybody. Point and Enders. These are basically the coin on the end of a roll. So like if I open up a uh, open up a box of pennies and on the end there's a wheat penny, that's called a wheat penny ender. Next up is proofs, and this is a coin or a banknote prepared as an example of a given issue. It's very they are very very shiny. They will have an S mint mark, and they're very easy to distinguish in a roll or in pocket change, whatever. Next is a business track. This is the opposite of a proof. This is basically every coin you're going to find in your pocket change at the bank and things like that. It is something that's meant to be in circulation for daily use by the public. Uh, then we have the obverse, which is the front or heads of a coin. Then reverse is the back or tails. Uncirculated. This is where it, the coin or the banknote or anything like that there are no signs of wear other than a possible bag mark. I'm not sure what a bag mark is, and that's not my terms, so I guess that's on your own to find out. But I just assume it's whatever has been in the roll or something got dinged a little bit. And then error. And this is a coin, token, metal, paper, money. And it is evidencing a mistake made in its manufacture. A variety, this is a occurrence that's repeated exactly in the same way on a coin. And then we have NIFC, that would be half dollar coin, something like that. That, that is not, it's just for collectors. It's not for everyone in the public to have. And NIFC stands for not intended for circulation. Then we have a double die. This is a type of doubling that exhibits a double image on the die itself. So, you know, when you have a double die, Lincoln sent, and you can see that there's, like, two L's, then that's what was on the die. Excuse me again. I'm sorry. And then finally, we have a mule. This is a coin that combines the dies of two different coin types. Like, they say there's a there is one known in existence, a 1959 wheat cent. And then most of you, I'm sure, know that the, the uh, wheat pennies were cut off at 1958. Well, it's called a mule cent because it's in the wrong year. So, then there's one where it's a Washington quarter and a Sacagawea dollar. And it's, a wa it's on the Sacagawea planchet. And it is a Washington quarter obverse, or heads, front, whatever. And then it has a Sacagawea eagle on the back. And I don't remember how much it's sold for or anything. I'll probably do a video on that later. Let me make a note of that. So that I remember. Alright, just so I remember that, I better write that down. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's it for this one, guys. I will see you next time. Remember, my streams are Saturdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard. And I guess I'll talk to you guys later.